What is going on, everybody? So I am back today because for the first time in, gosh, I don't know how long, I went to the theater three times in a row, and I saw, the first time I saw the angry black girl and her monster, and then I saw the new Spider-Man film, Across the Spider-Verse, and today I went to go watch a film that I've been super hyped up for ever since its announcement because it stars one of my favorite working actors right now, Christopher Abbott, who I feel like consistently puts out incredible performances in all the movies that he stars in. Last year, one of my favorite films was On the Count of Three. I thought his performance was absolutely astounding. He showed up in so many amazing movies over the years. And so anytime he shows up in anything, I'm super excited to watch it. And on top of that, this is a Neon Pictures produced film who in my eyes are getting up there with A24 as far as the quality and consistency of the films that they put out. And so today I'm gonna to be discussing the film Sanctuary. Sanctuary is directed by Zachary Wiggin. Confined to a claustrophobic hotel room, the heir to a hotel empire, and the dominatrix who has primed him for success become locked in a battle of wits and wills as he tries to end his relationship with her. So I was unfamiliar with the director, but as I said, really love Christopher Abbott. I have not seen Margaret Qualley in a ton of stuff, so I was not sure what her performance was gonna be like, but I was looking forward to it regardless, and this movie was my shit. This is probably up there with one of my favorite films of the year thus far. Absolutely everything that I look for in a movie, which is great character writing, use of cinematography to build tension, a fantastic score, all culminating to create one of the most unique viewing experiences I've had at the cinema this year. So as the plot description states, we're introduced to these two vastly different characters, or so we think, at the beginning of the film. Hal, played by Christopher Abbott, and Rebecca, played by Margaret Qualley. And the situation at the beginning of the film, really well paced and put together. And as the plot description states, we find out that Margaret Qualley's character is a dominatrix, and Christopher Abbott's character is the heir to this hotel empire. His father has just recently passed away. He is being put up as the CEO of this hotel company. And the entire film is these two characters confined to this room. Sometimes they'll leave the room. Sometimes they'll be in the room. This entire set of circumstances is like examining their relationship, their power dynamics, how Margaret Qualley has sort of helped him grow as a person. Is she manipulating him? Is he in this for the right reasons? All of these questions are examined throughout the film, and this is just a master class in what filmmaking should be. You put these people in a confined space, and so it's all gonna be performance driven, and it's all gonna be on how the cinematography effectively complements those performances, and both are done in a phenomenal way that keeps you engaged from start to finish. A lot of people are calling this a romantic comedy, and in a way it is, in a very deranged sense. And that is what I loved so much about this movie. Christopher Abbott, as per usual, gives a phenomenal performance. The amount that this man can do with just facial expressions alone, and the way he performs in every single one of his movies, just completely locks me into the screen. But I will say, as much as I love Christopher Abbott, Margaret Qualley's performance in this is like on another level. Her performance, her highs and her lows, and the way that she is able to shift, the way that she is required to shift her personality to sort of fit into this idea of what her character is, is so fucking incredible. I was hooked every time she was delivering a monologue sequence, and I don't want to get too into the specifics as to what's occurring on screen and these dialogues that they have, because the way that it shifts and turns throughout the entire movie is so incredibly impressive. There's moments that are just truly like somber. There are moments that are really funny. There are high stakes moments in this that will leave you on the edge of your seat wondering what is going to happen next. And it really takes a lot for a director to set a movie in one space and have it be as effective as this movie is. And like I said, the score to this film accompanies it in a way that all of those feelings that you're feeling are just elevated with the music that is playing in the background as well. I also really loved the color palettes in this. They chose really interesting colors for the hotel room that I think really accompany the film well. And they also use those colors in 
in transitionary sequences throughout the film, which is something I also really appreciated a lot. And a lot of times, budgetary restraints can cause a film to be locked into one space. And in this movie, I wasn't even thinking about that because of how dynamic these performances are. And the subject matter is so interesting, too, because it obviously dives heavily into the psychosexuality of our characters. But, like, as far as power dynamics are concerned, and, like how we can grow as human beings and there's really like a beautiful subtext to this movie about people who suffer from self-hatred or people that have been conditioned to live a specific way for a certain amount of time and the expectations that are set on you and how you never feel like you're living your truest form of yourself which is really at the core what this movie is exploring is the idea of the truest form of your sense of self and obviously it's doing it in a very elevated way but I think it says something really beautiful in the third act of this movie, despite the deranged nature of it. And it really just is so charming and quirky and disturbing and hilarious. And every array of emotion that you could assume would be portrayed in this movie exists in this movie. And I had never seen anything previously from this director. I think looking on his letterbox, he has one other film. I will be very excited to see whatever this filmmaker makes in the near future because this movie was riveting. I, it's an hour and a, a little over an hour and a half. I was gripped to the screen the entire time. I felt like it was perfectly paced. There was never a minute that I was uh, uninterested in what was going on. And at the end, I felt perfectly satisfied with where the movie went. I thought it was really unconventional, which is something uh, I, I love. Anytime a movie can really sort of break those conventional norms. And my letterbox review said it best. This movie is like if Nora Ephron took a bunch of hallucinogenics and made a film. And that is the most complimentary thing that I could say about about this movie. As you all know, I really love weird movies. This is a very strange, uncomfortable, funny film that I look forward to watching multiple times. I think that it's just absolutely fantastic and I cannot wait to watch this one again. So have you seen Sanctuary? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was amazing. One of my favorite films of the year. It's going to be up there in the top five. It's going to be really hard for this movie to get beat as one of my favorites of the year. As always, if you like the video and subscribe to the channel, helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.